Texas. As we take a look at the radar, you can see that rain is pummeling the lower and middle keys. And here's a look at Tropical Storm Elsa. The center is just west northwest of Key West and the flood advisory continues until 1230 PM. That's been extended and that is due to the fact that there are reports of four to six inches of rain that is falling through parts of the lower keys and hence flooding taking place. And you can see the areas included Stock Island, Key West, Big Copic Key, but the middle keys are also getting drenched as well as the upper keys as those rain bands continue to increase and spread out. And keep in mind that the tropical storm force conditions extend 70 miles out from the center. And there you see the center of Elsa also battering the west coast there of the peninsula. So estimated rainfall totals so far anywhere from, as I mentioned, four to even up to isolated six inches of rain for the lower keys. And the flood watch is in effect until this afternoon as we could even see up to eight inches of rain. The sustained winds right now about 44 to 46 miles an hour. So indeed dealing with tropical storm force winds and the gusts even stronger than that as high as 70 miles an hour right now in Key West. That is the strongest wind gust I've seen so far today and a 60 mile per hour wind gust in Sand Key. You don't want to be out in this kind of weather. It is the worst right now moving through and then slow improvement expected later today, likely not until the evening. So tropical storm conditions expected for the lower middle keys. Flooding as we're already seeing is taking place and even isolated tornadoes and Miami Dade and Broward not out of the woods yet because now we're starting to see more of that moisture wrapping around Elsa and we could see some gusty but downpours as we head into the rest of the day. Here's the 11 a.m. advisory right now. Elsa is a max sustained wind 60 miles an hour moving north northwest at 10 miles an hour. Storm surge warning and hurricane watch and tropical storm warnings in place for much of the Gulf Coast of Florida. Tropical storm warnings continuing for the lower and middle keys and then Elsa is expected to continue to lift northward here along the eastern Gulf of Mexico paralleling the west coast until we get into tomorrow when it could be making landfall here along the Big Bend of North Florida and then it'll continue to move to the northeast weaken to a depression and move across the southeast and even up through the mid-Atlantic northeast New England areas could be dealing with uh, Elsa restrengthening into a tropical storm by later this week.